Let us now see UiPath's agentic AI, the self-healing agent in action now. Assume that I have my application like this and I would want to fill in the employee name, employee ID, employee experience and hit on submit. Let us quickly try to build a workflow for the same. I will be using the modern activities here. So I will quickly drag and drop in the application browser. And I will indicate this is the application that I want to automate on. Now I will quickly drag and drop in a type into activity. Please remember that the self-healing agent will work only with the modern activities. So I will come here and I'm trying to indicate the employee name here. Let me hit on confirm. And let me pass in the name as Lalsa. Now I will drag and drop in another type into activity here. I will utilize this type into activity to indicate my employee ID. In this case, let us assume that my employee ID is MV70. Let me take in another type into activity here to fill in my experience. So let us indicate the employee experience field. And let us confirm the selector. Now, finally, let us click on submit. So I will drag and drop in my click activity here. I will come here and I will indicate submit button. And let me hit on confirm. Now, my workflow is completed. Let us quickly run this and see if it is executing fine or not. So it has typed in Lalza, it has typed in the employee ID. Okay, I think we forgot to give the field here, the value of my experience here. So let us quickly come here and say eight years of experience. And now let us try to quickly refresh this and rerun the workflow. We see that the name is filled, ID is filled, experience is also filled and it, the submit button has been clicked and it says details have been successfully submitted. Okay. Now guys, assume a scenario where there is a change in the user interface of this. Okay. So, which means that this same employee form, assume that the user interface has changed as employee full name. Previously, it was employee name. Now, the title has changed as employee full name. Employee ID is remaining the same. Employee experience was in years and here also it is the same. No problem with it. But then, previously, it was submit and now assume that it has changed to post. So, two modifications we are seeing in the UI here. One, employee name field has been changed to employee full name and employee experience and employee ID remain the same and the post has been changed submit has been changed to post now let us close the previous form let us run this with the workflow which we have created previously you will be able to notice that the workflow would automatically fail, isn't it? Because the titles of the fields are changing. So automatically the selectors would change. Let us wait and see if the UiPath bot would fail or would execute. So as we see, studio is blinking and yes, the error is detected telling that employee name, we could not find this. So which means in an ideal scenario, whenever there is a change in the user interface, the bot is bound to fail. Now let us quickly see the UiPath agentic AI in place and let us address and see the wonders it makes. What we will do is guys, we will come to studio and let us publish this process. 
so i'm saying employee form demo and i'm trying to publish it to the orchestrator tenant feed let me hit on publish the moment it has been published successfully what i'll come here is i'll come to my orchestrator and i will go to my shared processes let me refresh it once again Uh, I'm quickly checking if uh, it is in the same workspace or not. Let us give it a couple of minutes. It has to basically reflect in processes. Okay. So what what we will do is let us come to processes. Let us hit on add process. Select the package. So this is my package, and this will be my version of the package. Let us hit on next. Let us hit on next and display name. Let us say employee form demo. Now, what we will do here is let us enable something called enable healing agent and create this process. Now, if you see your process is added to this folder. So let us go back to our folder and see if there is a process which is added. Yes, it is added, and we are trying to start this process, enabling this enable healing agent feature in UiPath. Now I will quickly select the machine on which it has to run. and i'm coming here and i'm selecting this and i am starting it remember that we are trying to start the process with this updated ui form okay wherein there is a change in the field name for employee full name and there is a change in the submit button now it is changed to post but we have not touched our source code anywhere it remains the same as per the initial ui we have utilized now let us see if the process is running or not the process has started to execute it might take a couple of seconds because whenever there is a change in the user interface which is detected the agent ai will try to actually identify the patterns and see if there is any matching selector it will also be enabled to take some decisions which will replicate a human in real time so let us wait and see the magic now the process has not yet failed and now you see that despite there is a change in the selector the bot is still executing the field name in our previous application was just employee name but here it is employee full name still the bot was able to identify the field and type in the exact name here whose magic is this again it is agentic ai self healing agent's magic now again it might take a couple of seconds here because in our previous application form the submit button was there and now it has changed to post now we will have to see if the agent self healing agent in this case has got the capability to actually understand the difference and intelligently think and be matured enough to come click on this post button if it is clicking on the post button we will be able to see that the details have been submitted successfully 
so let us quickly wait and see if that magic happens too fantastic we see that the de details have been submitted successfully which means the bot has clicked on the post button but in our source code guys we have not made any changes the selector still remains the name and submit only now to understand this magic better let us come to our jobs section let us see the view logs of this job you will be able to see the logs plus you will be able to see something called healing agent here if you come and see ui path will be able to tell you this healing agent and the ui path will be able to tell you that type into employee name there is an anomaly detected in employee name what is that it is now employee full name it will provide us the screenshots as well okay so this is one point where a faulty activity was detected where employee name was something which was supposed to be there but in the application since there was a change in the ui it is employee full name now similarly if you come here and see it will also provide you with the target original selector and the recommended selector it will be able to provide you with the recommendations as well now if you come and see the original selector had employee name but the self healing agent is recommending you with the updated selector which has to be employee full name to match with the changed application which is the recent application so how should i actually make changes in the studio very simple guys just come here hit on open and studio it will ask you to open studio just hit on it automatically you will be navigated to a place where <coughs> this project is actually open it will open the project for you and an autopilot feature will be enabled to let you know what the errors are so if you come here and see this is my process and if you come here and see it will tell you these are the way places where an anomaly is detected so please come here this was the original selector which was employee name and now this has to be the new selector which is employee full name all you have to do is just hit on apply the selector will be updated automatically you just have to hit on confirm it is asking we found a matching element in the object repository would you like to reuse it if you want to reuse it you can say reuse else don't reuse now if you go to the autopilot feature again you have one more anomaly which was detected and it is instead of submit button now we have something called a post button so this has to be the original selector and this is the recommendation coming from autopilot all we have to do is just hit on apply it will ask you to confirm just confirm it and if you want to reuse it just reuse it else no if you come here and see automatically we'll be able to see that these changes have been applied so isn't it wonderful the ui changes are automatically handled without the bot failing plus it is also telling you where the bot has failed with clear screenshots on where it has failed what elements have changed plus the agent using the autopilot feature is also recommending you what you have to actually do just in case this error should not repeat again this is wonderful and this is the extraordinary feature uipath has come up with for agentic ai automation